Okay, Leo. What's going on for you? All right. So the first card we have is isolation. So this is the this is in the position of what you um you might be thinking about in this month of June is isolation, um, being isolated, feeling isolated, feeling um, separated uh, from life from others, um, from yourself, even, um, being alone, feeling, um, detached from society, from people, from situations, from your inner soul, maybe from, uh, your consciousness. So there is a, a feeling of isolation or you're really pondering and thinking about, how you've been possibly isolated in the past or how you are isolated now. And this could have to do with um, a relationship or uh, life situations, work, um, romance, and or friends, anything. But there is a sense of feeling isolated and uh, maybe just feeling alone and just really, you know, not feeling well about that situ about um, being feeling that way. So the next card we have, Leo, is the is conditioning. So there's a part of you that uh, you've gotten this card a lot in your readings um, in the past, and it's coming up again. And this is in the position of how you're going to be possibly acting and actions you may be taking this month. And it appears that you may be doing things in a different way. Um, it may be you may be acting this month of June in a way that you've never acted before, you might be coming into your own awareness of who you really are, seeing who you really are, noticing that you may be noticing that you, that you are independent, powerful, unique, and maybe not who you thought you used to be. Because this is a card of somebody realizing that maybe they, they this, okay, so there's a lion here. This is, this is you, Leo, and there's a bunch of little lambs, okay? Well, this lion grew up thinking it was a sheep because it was raised with these sheep. And, you know, the sheep uh, loves him and, 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 and uh, um, he loved them and they all thought that they were, he, they raised him and he thought he was a sheep. And he's discovering that he's a lion. He's discovering he's a lion. Um, so you might be discovering that you are, so basically you could have been hanging around certain people in your life and you're, you maybe thought you were just like them. And now you're realizing, no, I'm really not like those people, or I really don't feel the same way or think the same way as them anymore. And I'm, you're maybe seeing things on a higher awareness or a higher level. And it's a great card. It's a, it's a card of coming to be finding who you are, finding your soul purpose, finding, um, your center and your in unique independence and just really, um, doing things this month in a, in, in a, in, in a way where you can stand on your own two feet and know and have confidence in who you are and what direction you're going in and being confident that in, and confident in, 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 in yourself basically. And the next card we have is integration. Oh my gosh. So you're feeling, this is a card of how you, how you might be feeling this month of June. You might be feeling an integration. You might be taking two things, two ways of being and integrating them and, and, and that's neutralizing it. And it's becoming very balanced. You might be becoming very balanced in your emotions and your feelings, um, in your life right now. That's making you feel really confident because you now know who you are. You may be becoming you know, maybe you had some isolation and this isolation, you know, brought you to a very lonely and um, awakening, possibly an awakening of who you really are. And now you're realizing, wow, I, I'm, I don't have to be like, I, I'm not like these other people. Um, I'm independent. I um, I can be a rebel, meaning not a really a rebel, but you're basically able to do things in your own unique way and you're able to integrate something. So you're thinking about integrating your life in a more balanced way, a relationship or a work situation or just your life, your feelings, your emotions. Okay. And the next card we have is harmony. 
you guys are really, the outcome is 10. This is harmony. This is achievement. This is success. This is, um, it, this is even could be a love situation, but for most of you, this is harmony. You're feeling your life feels very harmonious. Your emotions are hum, harmonious. Things are, you're going with the flow. You're feeling a sense of, um, you know, comfort and, uh, like, like something like you're being supported, you know, you have like a sense of supporting, feeling supported and things are working out and it goes so well with this integration card. Harmony is like, it's, you know, two things coming together, two things coming together, feeling this aliveness within you. Oh my God. What, this is beautiful. Leo, this is a great reading so far. I'm really happy for you. Let's get into your main reading here. Okay, so one of the energies we have is somebody walking away. You may be walking away from something you once enjoyed, from something something that really fulfilled you or that was satisfied you in the past, but now you realize, you're realizing you want to go and move on to something new. Um, you want to step away and, and change your life, the direction, and move on to something maybe you don't really know. Maybe it's really a still unknown, but maybe you know you're not happy with what you what you once were happy with, and therefore you're leaving that the you're leaving something behind. That and now you're trying you don't know where you're going exactly, um, but you're moving forward onto something new, brand new. The main energy we have is the devil. Oh no, Leo. <laughs> My lovely Leos, you guys get the devil a lot when I do your reading. So um, he's here again. The devil is here. And this is in a very important positioning in your reading for this month of June. The devil card is here to say that there's a really, really unhealthy attachment, an addiction even, towards a person, a place, or anything. It could be drugs, alcohol. It could be uh, relationships. It could be um, abusive relationships. It could be unhealthy attachments to relationships. I mean, literally anything. But this is a very strong addiction card. And addiction is extremely hard to um, break away from and to be free of. So, um, you know, it's time for you guys to definitely walk away. I do see somebody is walking away. You know, you're, you're leaving a, something that was unhealthy that, that used to satisfy you and you are walking away. Maybe you guys are trying to get out of this addiction, but it is here. If, if, if for some of you, um, you know, this could be a, a person, it could be a Capricorn or an Aquarius in your life. That's very unhealthy. If it's not an Aquarius or a Capricorn person, then this most likely is you, Leo. Um, a lot of you Leos are attached to a very unhealthy situation. Okay. And the next card we have is the page of cups and the page of cups is here. This is a younger person, most likely a water sign. This could be a cancer, uh, Scorpio or a Pisces. Um, this is a younger person. This is in the challenge position, something that's challenging this month. This person usually is a very, this, this younger person is, it could be male or female because this is a general reading. Um, but this person is um, loving. Uh, they're emotionally there for you. Um, so this could be a friend. It definitely could be a friend, a child, a relative, um, you know, a love interest. But it, it, this person's here for you right now and they're going to support you in one way or another. They're just here for you. And, um, maybe they're trying to give you advice, um, on this addiction and how to overcome it, or maybe trying to help you through an addiction. Um, maybe they're just somebody there to listen, somebody that's there to listen to you because they have a, um, they have a lot of, a, they have, they're balanced in their emotions and they, they're able to offer you some of their emotion, some, some of their, you know, their, um, their care and concern. So this might, person might be there to help you this month. And the next card we have is the page of pentacles. And this is probably another younger person in your life, male or female. And this is a person that is very focused and they're, they have something to offer you. So this person, this is in the position also in your reading Leo that talks about, this is the advice. This is what they want you to focus on this month is this person, what this person is offering you. This person is offering you um, something of value, something of value. This person is offering you 
it could be a relationship. It could be money. It could be a job offer. It could be, um, friendship. It could be, um, but this person is here. Um, you know, it, it could be a, 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 like an earth sign. It could be a, um, uh, cap, it could be a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. And this person is offering you something and it is a value to you. So you have two people here, um, that are offering you support. They're offering you support for, it could be the same person there. Again, it could be two different people, but they're definitely here to offer you maybe a, a start, a new start that can build into something long-term financial or a relationship, but it's the beginning of something. And this person is definitely offering it to you. So in the recent past, we have the hangman in reverse, which means in the recent past, you guys have, you guys were feeling stuck, feeling, um, unable to move forward, bored, uh, stuck, unable to move, um, in a situation in your life. And, but it's, it, it's in reverse. So it's saying that you, in the recent past, you, you did get yourself out of a situation where you felt stuck. You, you overcome, overcame that. And it was because you learned a lesson. There was something you, an awakening or like, um, an enlightenment that you received. Um, and you were able to pull yourself out of something where you felt stuck recently. You were recently pulled yourself out and learned a lot. You recently learned a lesson in your life that brought you to a new awareness. And this new awareness open the doors for you to no longer be stuck, to no longer be um, unable to move forward in one way. And so now you are able to move, you were able to move forward. And then the next card we have is the emperor. And this emperor is here for you. This is a very, this is an older wise person. He usually, he or she, because it was well, most likely a male, but it could be a female, but um we're going to call him a male because, um, most it's mostly going to be a male for most of it, most people in this reading, but the emperor, this could be somebody also in the sign of Aries that has an, that's an Aries, but this person's here, this person's older than you. Why is this person's in a very position of power? Um, it could even be a father figure. It could be a relative. It could be a boss. Um, some like a mentor, somebody that you, you know, look up to and that, that cares that, that you care about, that cares about you. This person is, very wise. They have a lot of information. They have a lot of success. They usually own businesses. Um, they're very successful. They're very grounded and they're here for you for whatever reason, this person's here for you. So this person might be helping you, um, giving you advice or helping you offering you a job possibly, or offering you some support in some way this month of, of June. The next card we have is the King of, King of wands. And this is you, Leo you and it's also in the position of what you want this month so you want to be in your prime energy of a leo you want to be successful you want to be in control and solid in your life and you want to be taking action towards success and be successful and so this is what, something that you're striving for this month and you're working towards taking action it looks like you want to um start something new or uh take charge of your life. This is somebody who's taking charge of their life. And this person never fails when they, this is a Leo. When this, when Leo, when you guys take charge of your life, when you want something and you have the energy and when you're centered, you are, you will succeed and get what you want. So you're working towards that. And in the position of how you see your circumstances right now, it looks like there's a queen. This is the queen of what queen of wands and this is a female, could be a male, but um, uh, male or female, but we'll call it a female because that's what this card is. And this is also a Leo. This is a Leo, Aquarius, or a Sagittarius. And this person's here. This person is very attractive. This person is very successful. And this person loves animals, most likely cats. There's a little black cat here. So this person might be a cat owner, but this person is very successful. This person is moving forward and wants to move forward with you or in a relationship with you or a work, look, whether it be work or a romantic relationship. But this person is here and this person um, wants to move forward with you and 
or to help you in some way. Okay. This is a very good energy. This is a very successful person. Maybe this person has advice for you or supporting you. It looks to you a lot of people in your reading this month, Leo, you have a ton of people here. So you have a lot of, and they're all positive, very, very positive people. Um, you've got this female uh, queen of wands. Again, it could be a male, but, um, this person wants to move forward and take action with you. Um, or in a situation that you're involved in and this person maybe you know want to help you or wants to, to move forward and you've got this page of pentacle this younger person that wants to offer you something you also have this younger page of cups that's offering you something and you have this wonderful older person that's super wise that wants to offer you something so the next card we have is there's somebody in your life uh in your i'm sorry in your environment in your environment um, it could be work, relationship, home, family, friends. Um, there's somebody who is having a hard time um, moving away from some hurt and disappointment. And um, maybe this person felt betrayed, backstabbed, um, feelings were hurt. And this person and you and this, you and this person separated, um, got in a fight. You know, maybe you were friends. Maybe this was a relationship in your past. And you guys moved away from each other, but this person is, is having a hard time leaving the situation. It's just very difficult for them. Um, so somebody's a little bit hurt and having a hard time letting go of the pain and moving on towards um, better uh, waters. This also could have to do with this uh, addiction card, with the devil card. This person could be possibly um, still in your life and, um, you know, maybe there's hurt feelings. Okay, so the next card we have is the King of Swords. This is in your hopes and fears section. So this is such a positive person. This is a King of Swords. This could be an air sign. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It could be a male or a female. And this person is in your hopes section. So I think you guys are hoping to receive some communication, some truth and uh, some logical information. This person does bring, um, swords brings uh, logic. They're very logical about things. They don't have a lot of emotions. They're more logical thinking. They think with their mind. This person is very, speaks the truth and they're very honest. So it looks like you might be hoping for some honesty and some communication. This is also a card of communication. So it looks like you might be hoping for some truth and clear communication with somebody this month. And the next card we have is the three of swords. Uh, the three, I'm sorry, the, yeah, three of swords. And this is in the outcome of your reading. It looks like there is um, somebody by the end of the month will be getting over there. It looks like there was some heartache with you or in definitely with you. Um, looks like somebody broke your heart. Maybe somebody, you know, you felt deceived or, um, things didn't work out with you and somebody and, uh, the relationship, uh, broke up, but it looks like you're really ha It looks like at this point, by the end of the month, it no longer affects you. It looks like you're not affected by any pain or, um, hurt from the breakup. You're able to, to move on, move forward and you're not affected anymore by any kind of heart, heartache, pain, um, trauma, sadness, that disappointment that, that any, that this person or relationship has caused you, you're over it. By the end of this month, you're not feeling any more attachments or any more hurt any longer. So the only thing is, is that, um, Leo, you have a lot of people here coming into your life, a lot of support, a lot of offers, a lot of help in regards to an addiction. You also are moving in the recent past. You really got some clarity, some enlightenment. You learned a lesson. It could have had to do with a relationship that you broke up with. It looks like you've learned a lesson and you mature, meaning you matured. Uh, you were able to, you matured out of, you matured from something and learned from something and therefore you're no, you're no longer attached to it. You're able to move forward and you, somebody is moving on. They're moving past and forward to something new. You are definitely over some kind of heartbreak that was in the past that hurt you. 
Um, you're moving away from any pain. Um, there's positive action. This actually even could be you, Leo. You know, these two cards this is a male and female, but they both could be you because this isn't your hopes. And this is also how you see your situation. So you might be this, this, this card taking action, moving. You want to take control of your life. You want to be successful and you want to move forward. You want to move to something new and take, take, take action. And this is very passionate. This is a passion. These, these cards are passionate, meaning you have passion and drive for something stable in your life and you want to be successful at it. It could be work, it could be relationship. It could be anything, but you guys want that. And you're seeing your situation this way. If it's not you, it's somebody else. They want to move forward in something that they have passion in, about in this situation. But again, we have this devil card here. So there is something going on with you. I see, I see a kind of uh, two energies here. I see that you're emotionally moving away from things that that you've changed your mind. You're, you're, you're growing into a new stage of being, you're moving past, um, you're moving away from old things that you once, uh, enjoyed. You, you're moving on to something new and you're over some kind of heartache. Okay. You've learned some lessons in your past and you have some kind of addiction though, that it has to be dealt with this month of June. And maybe this person wants to, this could be you. Maybe you want to be successful. You want to, you want to take action towards this negative, um, addiction and move on, move forward. 